If you're coming to DC in December, I'm gonna tell you about the five best things to see and do for the holidays. Welcome to Trip Packs DC. My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide here in the nation's capital. If you're coming to Washington DC and you're looking for the best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring the city, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new videos. And if you're interested in the new Trip Packs DC Monumental Christmas Tour, head on over to TripPacksDC.com afterwards to check it out. If you've been to DC around the holidays before, leave a comment on this video and let me know what your favorite festive thing to do is. Otherwise, let's get started. Number one, Christmas trees. If you come to DC before Christmas, you have to check out the holiday trees. There are two primary trees on the National Mall that you should seek out. First is the National Christmas Tree on the ellipse on the south side of the White House. This is not to be confused with the White House Christmas Tree, which is actually inside the east wing of the White House. The first time a tree was decorated and lit up in this spot was in 1923. And every president since Franklin Roosevelt has given a speech during the yearly lighting ceremony. The National Christmas Tree is a permanent tree, but it's not the same one that was planted back in the 20s. Most recently, in the winter of 2011, a big windstorm took down the National Christmas Tree. A new one was planted on that spot a month later, but a year after that, it was declared dead because of transplant shock. In 2012, a Colorado blue spruce was planted, and it is still the National Christmas Tree as of the making of this video. A mile and a half down the street, the Capitol Christmas tree stands on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol. This is not a permanent tree. So just like the one in your own house, every year a tree is chopped down and transported to the Capitol. In 2017, it is an 81 foot tall Engelman spruce from Montana. And a bonus tree that you can check out is at the Canadian Embassy on Pennsylvania Avenue. So if you're walking down Pennsylvania Avenue, stop by, say A, and check out the tree that they bring down from Canada for the holidays. Number two, zoo lights. Tina and I talked about this in our National Zoo video. This is an annual event where they decorate the National Zoo in Christmas lights and set them to music. For the kids, there's a glow-in-the-dark play area, a holiday carousel, and a trackless train to drive them around the zoo. And since it'll be cold, there's plenty of coffee, hot chocolate, and mulled wine to keep you warm. In addition to roasted nuts, s'mores, Christmas cookies, and other goodies, the best thing is that other than any souvenirs or beverages that you choose to buy, the National Zoo is always completely free. Number three, the Botanic Garden. Every year, the U.S. Botanic Garden has a display called Season's Greetings. You'll see their famous model train winding its way through the gardens. They have planned live holiday music, and there's a mini theme every year as well. In 2016, that theme was National Parks and Historic Places, and this year's 2017 theme is Roadside Attractions, which features plant-based recreations of things like the Cadillac Ranch in Texas, and Lucy the Elephant from New Jersey. Number four, Union Station. This is the main train station in Washington, D.C. It's also one of the most festively decorated buildings for the holidays. There are wreaths with red and green lights on the outside, a giant Christmas tree on the inside, and no train station would be complete without a special holiday-themed model train in the Great Hall. Number five, the downtown holiday market. If you're interested in doing some Christmas shopping, but the big chain stores don't really interest you, then a stop at the downtown market is worth your time. The market runs every year from Black Friday until December 23rd. The market provides space for over 100 local artisans to sell their crafts and locally made goods. You'll find things like jewelry, painting, clothes, and other little things that make for great gifts. There's also seasonal food and hot drinks to keep you caffeinated and warm as you shop. If you've stuck around this far, I want to tell you about a special seasonal Trip Hacks DC tour called A Monumental Christmas. This is a special three-hour tour that combines the two most popular stops on my Monuments at Twilight tour with some other really cool things that you can only see around the holidays. The tour starts after dark at the Lincoln Memorial and then goes to the World War II Memorial so that you can see both lit up at night in all of their glory. After that, you'll walk over to the White House to see the National Christmas Tree lit up, and then take a stroll across the street to see the decorations at the famous Willard Hotel. Finally, we'll take a stroll down Pennsylvania Avenue to end at the Capitol Christmas Tree, with a stop for hot chocolate along the way, since it is December and it will be cold. If you're interested in taking that tour, you can click on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll take you over to TripPacksDC.com, where you can see all the tours that I offer. And if you found this video helpful and you want to sign up for more DC tips and hacks, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Enjoy your trip!